Oh my heck, there's an update. Now I'm experiencing this as we go here, and the first incredible thing upon entering is that Helpful Cat, ye olde stalwart of the game, Helpful Cat, is now more helpful! It's allowing me to go to a Into the Future outbreak via the Stories of Legend battle screen so I don't need to randomly search through the main menu for the battle breaks anymore? Who thought of that? If you thought of that and wanted that, you're a genius, because this is genius. And it's telling me where it is as well. Oh, absolutely marvellous. Interesting thing that the Outbreaks feature doesn't recommend you what you've previously used to be an Outbreak. I don't know, is that a good idea? Oh my heck, it's a Gabriel Doge. Get wrecked. This is brilliant. I mean, this is going to instantly at least double the speed at which I go through these zombie outbreaks. <laughs> it's leading me directly onto another one. Oh, that's fantastic. It links and it tells you where it is. And of course, you can press the button that brings you to it. Oh, it's so interlinked. It's almost making me emotional. This is just going to make it so much easier and it's integrated within that huge, usually obstructive speech bubble that just tells you some fact you've seen a million times or tells you to look something up on the internet. It has game function now. This is just fantastic. It's interactable. I love you, Helpful Cat. I love you. What could be more tying things together in the game that you get the menu automatically moving you through different parts of the game without having to do that search manually yourself. It's combining these elements of the game so beautifully and becoming, quite possibly, a real hub for information. The only thing I can compare this to is when I discovered shortcuts because you can make things happen, relevant things happen in easy to understand ways. And that's just brilliant simplicity and user experience coming together in just such a wonderful way. Although, Return to Menu has uh, made it crash. But I guess um, his is a couple of my shortcuts. One problem I have noticed is that when you're tapping on this menu and scrolling down, it is actually quite easy to accidentally find yourself in these zombie outbreak menus. As much as I like the buttons on there, I think it would have been a lot more useful if we'd have had the buttons into the right a little bit. Even that little change would just make that scrolling problem probably go away. Probably not an update thing that they introduced, certainly, but treasure festivals, even if you got all superior treasure, take precedence over the outbreak symbol, even if you haven't done all of your outbreaks. Doesn't really make much sense to me, and would probably be useful if it prioritised the thing that you still actually needed to do. I think this is new as well, this piece of information. Retiring a Gamatota helper will let you assign them to help with the base development project before they disappear completely. That's something that I haven't seen before and I haven't even got to the update notes yet. What do I say about things being good, making themselves self-evident and making themselves clear to people? This is just perfect in that sense, easily already demonstrating why this feature is a good thing. Right, update notes. True form, Mercia, Marcia, Mercia. Whoever, I don't have them. More cat talents for nurse and catchy catchy. And pogo cat, love that. More UL. <gasps> Look at this. Expansion to catamin stages. Oh, that's nice. Each day from midnight to 8am. Access previously seen crazed, cyclone and limited stages as catamin stages. Huh. Why? Oh, previously seen. Giving you an extra chance. I like that. I mean, I'm not sure I'd use that very much, but if I miss something, yeah, brilliant. I might finally get around to doing Blue Impact. Max cat based development level increased! Yes! Yes! Haha! -ha! It's material time, boys and girls. Level 30? Oh, heck yeah. For slow beam? Oh, the slow will be infinite! Oh, this is just. Fantastic. This is giving 9.7 a run for its money, I'll tell you that. Talent orb slots unlock for all characters with talents activated. Mad. Cat-based dialogue now includes zombie outbreak notifications. Don't I know it. Access the help screen from the cat base and the in-battle pause menu. What? Appearance order for certain special and super rare units has been changed. In the in the cat guide? <gasps> Error 
corrections? Oh my god, Ponos! You're listening! You're writing down, like, loads of important things. A report. This is fantastic. My CPU loves it as well. I've just glanced. It says CPU minus 17,000%. That's how cool this update is. I mean, these are current issues, aren't they? Rather than bug fixes. But still, it's information. And I love that. That's brilliant. Do more of that. Say what bugs have been fixed. So people, maybe me, <laughs> complaining about something that wasn't fixed. Now I know that you fixed it. Know to look for it being fixed upon an update. I mean, just, yes. Catchy, catchy. Now this is exciting. What can it do? It can talent orb, of course. Resist slow, even faster. Defense buff, nice. Gets knocked back a lot. Attack buff, maybe. I mean, area of effect, definitely. Cost down, madman. Especially given the recharge time's quite short. And recharge speed up. <laughs> A spammable catchy catchy. I mean, what can I say? If I didn't have the policy of only upgrading units in this way when I need to beat a level and they would help me to do so, I would be on that. I would be so on that. Now this is mad. Meat shield talents. Jiangxi. Resist slow. Oh goodness. Resist wave. My god. I'm not using these talents. That would make Jiangxi very, very good. And how neat is this? Zombie outbreak has appeared again, so we can go to it and test out the pause menu thing. Pause. Oh, look at that. Nice. Bit of help. Nicely integrated into the menu with your designs. <laughs> that is something I, that is just interesting. I mean, it works. The X and the arrow. It just seems weird to have them all there. Oh, look at that. I can't be supporting this. Censor this. Who needs the beginner's guide anymore? But I mean, in all seriousness, that's very useful to quickly reference information, especially if it's level specific and especially save data stuff because Battlecats is a bit weird for that. And although there is an argument for interneting it, at least there's readily available information about it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Before it takes me on another mad and fantastic journey to another outbreak, let's have a look at this order. <gasps> ah! Oh, I like this! Look, 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 look! Metal Macho and Gold Cat now come after your sort of traditional gacha super res. I mean, they are both gacha units, but they don't have true forms. And maybe that's what it is now. Maybe it's arranged in that way. That's nice, thematically put together. The crazed units, of course, and then your stage reward units, collab units, as usual. And like all good things, it ends with Masato. Go on then, Atoto. Present me with it. Oh my good god, new material. What is Ammonite? Building materials for a mighty cat base. Oh, that's what I need. I need the Ammonite. That. That's what I need. You know how that song goes? I need the Ammon, the man and the nan and is what I need. I think that's fantastic, really. Getting more levels on the cat bases. I was really worried that they were going to stop at level 20. Really wanted to be able to upgrade them further. And to present an obstacle to that, so it's not just immediately getting it to level 30 and then being bored with the cat bases again. Wholly behind that. And look at, look at the, just the, the themes here. United Kingdom, we finish on home soil. Ladies and gentlemen, this is brilliant. And very soon after 9.7. And I don't like all our good things coming at once, but I think there was just enough of a gap between the two to have two fantastic and brilliant things come to us. To be honest, I don't really care about new stages. Probably puts me at odds with a lot of players and makes me sound like a right strange person playing a game not caring about levels being added to it. But functionality is my dream. Love user functionality, user experience, making things easy and simple and satisfying for people. And Ponos are doing that more and more now. I love you dearly, Ponos. Thank you for these two updates. I am as happy for this update appearing as I am for Helpful Cat as a cat. Fulfilling an actual progress helping purpose. I thank Ponos for this update. This update for existing and you for watching. I'll bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.